Hey guys, welcome to a new video and yes, I have found another historical hairstyling book. I have no idea how many of these are still out there. For now, I'm just glad I keep finding more. <laughs> and this particular one that I want to try and follow today is from the 1920s. It is called Special Lessons Compiled by Emily Lloyd for the National School of Cosmeticians and it was published in 1920. It contains everything you need to know about 1920 hairstyling, all the techniques that were popular, different, you know, ways to curl the hair and different types of hairstyles that you could follow. It also goes into skincare towards the end, but we're going to focus on the hair today, of course. As you may know, if you have been following me for a while, I am absolutely terrified of 1920s hairstyling. I am very, very bad at 1920s hairstyling. I keep trying it, but it never really goes well. I think this is one of those things that is just really hard to do on your own hair. It might be easier to get down on somebody else's hair. But I'm just gonna try again today. The hairstyle that I have here today is relatively simple. I'm going to be doing a faux bob. The specific tutorial is called the foundation for bob hair dress for medium and heavy hair and it is um, it shows how to do a bob on long hair which is really nice. But it also features Marcel Ways and Oh, Marcel Waves. <laughs> if you've seen my last video, actually, the one where I tried to recreate a photo of Marie Doro, it's that typical kind of long, elongated, horizontal wave that I really struggle to create and I don't really know how to do. Now, luckily, this book features a bunch of tutorials for Marcel waving. They are written, though. And even though this book does have illustrations, following written hair tutorials is very difficult. I am going to try it and we'll see how far I get. That's the point of this video. I'm just gonna, you know, try my best. I'm going to follow the foundation for Bob hairdress tutorial. Let's get started. So step one is comb hair free from tangles. I may or may not have already done that prior to filming, but let's just run my comb through my hair really quickly. Step two, part hair from ear across crown to ear. So, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna go from the center, but do essentially the same thing. So come down to my ear. I'm gonna take my glasses off here. Step three, part hair in back of ear into a V shape to nape of neck. Pin up remaining hair in center back. All right, it seems like I am supposed to take the back of the hair and make a V shape going down. And then I am to put this away for now. All right, so I have two sections in the back here, two in the front and one in the center. Part hair in front over left and right eye back to crown. So that's right there. Okay, I'm just gonna pin this now because on the image it's kind of just floating in the air but my hair is not gonna do that so let me just pin this away step five hair on left and right side back dress into coils and pin crosswise to ear for foundation if there was no illustration i'd have no idea but it's pretty clear from the picture so i am to just take this hair coil it and then kind of pin it down between the nape of my neck and my ear, I guess. It's probably not as neat as it looks in the picture, but it works. So let's do the other side. All right, so at this point, all of the hair that is still loose, including this little bit right here, should be Marcel waved. Now, I think I'm gonna cheat just a tiny little bit and skip this part. Just because I think it's going to be hard enough to do in the parts where I can actually see it. Um, and I, this hair is going to be covered afterwards anyway. So I think I'm just going to pin this back straight. And I'm also... Well, step six is hair that is pinned at the center back. Comb out and bring over the foundation in back and pin under. It doesn't say anything about tying the hair, but it does definitely look tied into a ponytail in the image. And I do think that would make things a lot easier so i am just going to do that i'm going to use a little hair elastic here then i'm going to pin this under which i'm going to take to mean that i roll it up i think that would be the most logical step here to start a faux bob 
so I'm gonna pin that down. Okay, there we go. That's my base. Now it is actually time to start Marcel waving these three sections. So I'm gonna move back to one of the waving tutorials. This explanation is quite long and I don't want this video to drag on forever and ever and ever. So basically, if I understand correctly, what they are saying to do is to take a comb, fold the hair with the comb, then you need one of these curling irons that have a clasp, preferably a small one. This one is big, it's way too big, I'm gonna have very loose curls and they're probably not gonna look as authentic. But I don't have any that are smaller than this, so we're gonna have to make do with this. And you are supposed to basically clasp it down and then turn it over, move on and turn it under again and over and under and over and under. If I understand correctly, which I may not because again, written instructions. <laughs> and while you do that, you're also supposed to alternate between pulling the hair left or right so that it kind of forms that typical 20s wave. I'm just, I'm just gonna try it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Take my iron. Ouch! Burned myself. Oh, but that doesn't look too bad though. Okay, wait. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually hold my hair with a comb. Um, I'm not skilled enough of a hairdresser for that. Oh, and I should probably wave it back so that it actually looks nice on the other side. Let's actually start like that. Um, And then I'm gonna slide it down my hair, flip it over, and move my hair to the other side, and move on again. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, but honestly though, I don't- this first bit, it's not too bad, right? Maybe I need to not move my iron so far away when I do this. Let's try again. And I'm gonna keep my iron a little bit closer this time. I'm not sure I got the technique, but let's try the other side. than the first one. Yeah, okay, nothing's happening <laughs> at all on this side. Why? What's going wrong? I'm trying to understand the mechanics of this, but it, uh, it's not really happening. Because <laughs> it feels like I'm kind of just doing the same thing over and over. I'm also frustrated because I feel like this shouldn't be so hard to understand. And if I were just, you know, if someone were to show me how this works, Nope. <laughs> oh, I oh, I really want this to work. I want to understand so badly, but I just I have no idea how this works. I looked up several YouTube videos. No one does it the way it is described in the book. The most comprehensible tutorial I found um, that produces similar results gave me this. My iron is definitely too large, but I mean, that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna try and do it on this side as well and try and explain to you kind of how it works, I guess. So basically that tutorial encourages you to kind of form like a wave by hand like that and then use the curling iron to press that wave shape into the hair. When you have that, you create another wave. Ooh. Gosh, this is so hard to do. I also don't understand how I'm supposed to do this with the hair kind of standing up, because that's just not gonna work. 
but that's what the drawing shows, so I'm really not sure what to do there. Probably not gonna get the Marcel wave that is required for this hairstyle, but sorry, sorry about that. It is still beyond my skill level, apparently. If anyone has any tips for Marcel waving, do let me know, I'd be very happy to hear. I can't even see what I'm doing right now because of the hair. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna give up on this because I feel like I feel like I'm frying my hair for absolutely no reason at all because it's not gonna look good anyway. Let me just smooth out those bangs here. Yeah, I feel like this isn't gonna get better. It's only gonna get worse probably and my hair has suffered enough damage at this point. I think I'm just gonna finish the faux bob without the waves. So back to the party. <laughs> Step number seven, roll left and right side front hair over each ear and pin to adjoining hair in back. So I am supposed to pull this back, kind of like this. And pin it right here, although... Oh, now that it's not curly, I'm not sure it's actually going to work. Maybe if I flatten this out a little bit. Step eight is comb back center front hair and pin. <laughs> comb back center front hair and pin. I do think this would have been much easier if my hair was Marcel waved at this point. Probably would have looked better too. Because now it's just kind of falling down everywhere and it's slippery and straight and hard to make it do what I want it to do. But I'm basically just gonna pin it back here to all of this hair that I already had. Yeah, it's it doesn't even want to stay. It doesn't even want to stay back. Um, and I just the bangs like everything. And I, judging by the way this feels, it probably looks absolutely horrible from the back. Oh my gosh, I can feel this whole thing is just exposed. Where is my hair? Why is my hair not covering this up? I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I actually I'm trying to figure out how to make this work but i don't think i think this is gonna be the first one that i actually couldn't replicate at all well besides of course the 18th century one which in fact i did come surprisingly close to i found an example of what it was supposed to look like and i didn't do too bad i i did worse now with the 20s one why is this so hard look at that i feel like a complete and utter failure right now but yeah, here we go. I should have known. I mean, 20s. 20s hairstyling is the bane of my existence. I just cannot do it. I keep trying because I really want to get it down and it frustrates me that there is a complete time period that I just can't do because I can't. <laughs> but I'm afraid, I'm afraid this is it, guys. I just don't have the skills for this. Even with the help of this cosmetology book, I failed this time. <laughs> Maybe I should take like a course or something. Are there even courses available? Like. 20s hairstyling courses that I could do. I don't know. This is just oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I think I think I'm just gonna stop and have a cup of tea. I can use that. I hope you enjoyed watching anyway, watching me struggle and fail. I'm sorry. I always feel bad when these don't turn out like looking good. I always want these to succeed. I think it's really fun if I do a historical like follow a historical tutorial and it turns out looking amazing, but this is a reality. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just really hard to do and the 20s are hell. So yeah. So thank you for watching guys. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. Hopefully that actually works out. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>